Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about how to divide radicals and also how to rationalize the denominator. All right, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna take notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so let's first go over how to divide radicals. So here we have the square root of 14 divided by the square root of two. And the rule for dividing radicals is pretty simple. If you have a square root on the top and square root on the bottom, what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to write a new radical with the 14 on the top and then the two on the bottom like this. So notice I put the 14 on the top and the two on there, and then I can reduce it. So 14 divided by two gives us seven. So it's just the square root of seven is the answer. All right, so again, 14 divided by two gives us seven. So it's just the square root of seven. All right, this one down here is a little more complex. Here we have the square root of 20x to the fourth, y to the third, divided by the square root of 5x squared, y. All right, but you do the same thing as you do up here. So we're going to create a big radical sign, and it's going to be 20x to the fourth, y to the third in the numerator, over 5x squared, y in the, in the uh, denominator. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to reduce this using the rules of exponents. So it's going to be, well, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And then if I do x to the 4th divided by x squared, that's x squared. And then y to the 3rd divided by y is just y squared. All right, now finally, what you got to do is reduce it, simplify it. All right, so I know that um, here we have the square root of 4x squared and y squared. Well, each one of these is a perfect square, right? So the square root of four is two. The square root of x squared is x. And then the square root of y squared is y. And there's the answer. All right. So again, when you have a problem where you have a square root on the top and the bottom, what you do is you, you take those numbers and you make a fraction inside the radical sign and then you simplify it. All right, now let's move on to the second important topic here. It's something called rationalizing the denominator. And if you look at the word rationalizing, there's that term ratio. All right, remember ratios mean fractions. And there's an important rule about fractions. The denominator has to be okay, a number that's rational. All right, so for example, here we have five over the square root of, of three. And the square root of three is irrational because this number as a decimal goes on forever. And you can't have that as a fraction. So the way you fix this is you multiply both the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So when you do that, the numerator is going to be 5 radical 3. And now look what happens in the denominator, okay? The square root of 3 times square root of 3 is, square, is the square root of 9, which is 3. And this right here now works. That's what we're looking for, all right? So the whole point of rationalizing the denominator is to get rid of the irrational part in the, in the bottom. Okay, let's do one more. Here we have five divided by the square root of x. So I'm gonna multiply both sides, the, the numerator and denominator by the square root of x. So what remains now on the top is five times radical x. And then remember the square root of x times square root of x is the square root of x squared, which is really x, right? So that's how we get the x here. And there it is. All right. So now they understand how to divide radicals and rationalize the denominator, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do have these practice problems. So to save a little bit of time, I did the workout already. So the first one we had the square root of 40 divided by the square root of 10. And again, I just made it into a one big fraction. So it's the square root of 40 divided by 10, which uh, reduced down to the square root of four, which the square root of four is two. So that's the first one. All right, the second one we had to rationalize the, the denominator. Cause look, look what's in the bottom, right? Okay, we had the square root of y. So in order to get rid of that, we had to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of y. 
and we end up with 9 times square root of y over y. All right. And then the last part, we have um, a fraction where basically I put the numerator and denominator inside the same radical sign. And I reduce that and I get 25x squared. And then the square root of 25x squared is just 5x. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?